In this video, I'm going to show you two different blitzes in one video that's going to really help you, I think, understand the loop concept in Madden 23 and how you can apply a lot of some of the concepts we found in Madden 22 to Madden 23. Now, the loop blitz is still very effective in Madden 23. It might even be better in Madden 23, to be quite honest with you. I want to show you two different ways that you can loop blitz um, out of the big nickel defense while still maintaining a too high safety look. It's one of the main things that I love about Big Nickel is the fact that we can send pressure with our linebackers in unique ways. We can also send pressure with our safeties in unique ways. It's why I believe the Big Nickel over G defense is definitely at least one of the best defenses in Madden 23. So take a look at this blitz, and if you want to learn the rest of the Big Nickel defense, make sure to join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up, get you access to absolutely everything, including our Big Nickel over G uh, defensive ebook. Alright guys, so you can do this out of any play. I'm going to teach it today out of the cover two defense and I personally prefer to run this on baseline, but you don't have to. And all we're going to do is pinch our D-line. We're going to crash our D-line down. We're going to blitz the linebacker on the left of the side of the screen. So you see that he's going outside of the tackle. And then we're going to contain and I like to use her the guy right about here. And what you're going to see is this will absolutely create incredible pressure. You're going to get loop pressure. And if they don't block anybody, a lot of times you're going to get that B gap pressure that we just saw. Now, what they're immediately going to do, their first instinct, especially if it's Madden 22, is they're going to want to try to block their tight end. Well, by blocking your tight end, it's um, it does sometimes randomly pick it up, to be honest. But most of the time it doesn't. It only picks it up if there's some kind of random um you know kind of randomness as we just saw let me show you this again and um it's actually better the less people you send and we'll get into that in just a second but what you'll see here there's the loop and as you can see the pressure comes in against a blocked tight end now what's really cool is it also comes in against a blocked running back so if i block my running back which is the next thing they're going to try you're going to see again i want to stand right about here and just kind of come down and shoot to the right. And you see that I can turn that running back's hips inside with that with that turn. And what that does is it allows me to loop around the outside. So as you can see there, I can send it against a block tight end or block running back. And then lastly, what I can do with this is sometimes the max protect will pick it up, but a lot of times it actually doesn't. And what you'll see here is again, the loop able to get in against max protect that is the loop it's looping around the outside diamond and we're basically creating a kind of a stunt if you will and he's looping around now the beauty of this is this can also be applied to the right side of the screen because a lot of times especially if you're like me you like to use her on the side of the running back so what, I'll, what we're going to do with this is we're going to pinch our line that's a little bit of a different setup for this side instead of crashing our line down we're going to crash our line to the running back side and then we're going to loop this way. It just kind of has to do with the fact that this guy is in a little bit of a uh, of a deal. Now for this one, I think baseline, it does work a little better because the linebacker actually gets to where he needs to go. And then again, you want to stand right about here. And what you'll see is this linebacker will loop around the outside. This right side pressure, I will be completely honest with you, is not as good as the left side pressure, but it's still really good. So again, you see when I base the line, this guy moves just a little bit. That little movement right there is absolutely critical for this blitz, which is why I would tell you that if you're gonna run it off the right side, I think it's best that you run it with base and line on and use that crash crashing your line to the right. Otherwise, every now and then it can just kind of get fluky and, and it just doesn't work quite as well. Um, let me show you one other thing with this. You'll notice that if I don't base the line, I can still kind of get it with the crash line down look. The problem that I've noticed is it just doesn't always come in. As you can see here, see how it doesn't just, just kind of randomly gets picked up on that right side. It's just a little bit of a difference in terms of how the offensive line works off the left edge versus off the right edge. Um, every year there's a side that's better or worse last two years it's been you really want to blitz off the left if at all possible but anyways as you can see there's the there's the loop and we only really need two people for this loop so another thing that makes this really good so what we're going to do now is we're going to start dropping people so we pinch our line we're going to blitz our linebackers and then we can now drop this left side into coverage so we can actually create a coverage that looks like this 
um, and still be able to get pressure. So I'm only sending three people off the left. I've bluff blitz the DT on the right, and I've zoned out the D end on the right. And you'll see that this loop will still come fairly consistently, either through the B gap or through the loop. One of the two, very difficult to pick up. And you can pretty much do the same thing on the other side. Remember, you just want to crash your line to the right instead of crashing them down. And again, we're going to drop these guys out into coverage like so. And what you should see here is a nice little right side loop concept. There we got a little bit of a pinball, but you see the idea. So this is a incredible, incredible defense. And the beauty of, I think the biggest key to this is the fact that I can send this loop um, off of both edges with maintaining my too high safety look, uh, which I think is absolutely critical in this game to have good coverage. You need those two high safeties. And as you can see, it's just absolutely incredible blitz. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this, we get way in depth in this defense in our Big Nickel Over G defensive ebook. If you want to get the ebook, the link is down in the description below. Make sure to join our Patreon. It's just 10 bucks to sign up. Thanks for watching. If you want to join, head down to the description below and click the link.